hello all in this video we will learn how to solve the recurrence relation of an algorithm so uh, in let me brief you about what is algorithm and how uh, what types of algorithms are available so an algorithm is a finite number of steps to solve a particular problem with defined input and output now an algorithm can be divided into two parts one is your iterative other is your recursive one in iterative algorithm uh, the problem can be solved by uh, different number of steps uh, uh, so for example in this uh, multiplication pseudocode or multiplicative function we have two arguments as a and b which will return which should return a into b means multiplication of two number so in this one i write the pseudocode like if b is greater than 0 then it will return a into b otherwise it will return 0 so you can also uh, say that if any number is greater than 0 sorry less than 0 it will return 0 so if 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 you uh, you can say that if a or b if b and a both greater than 0 then it will return a into b otherwise it will return 0 so this is a uh, iterative processor to solve a multiplication problem now i convert the same processor with the recursive one in this one the same function with two inputs a and b i will check for the one input that is if b is greater than 0 then it will return a plus multiplication of a comma b minus 1 so means i just pass the input a and the input that is modified one b minus 1 to the same processor which is right here so whenever a function call itself in it then this type of function or processor is called the recursive function or recursive processor so we can uh, for any problem if you make algorithm as a iterative or recursive so you can convert the both into each other i mean to say that if you have a iterative processor to solve a pro to solve a particular problem then you can convert that iterative algorithm into a recursive one or similarly if you have a recursive algorithm to solve a particular problem p then that problem can be solved by the iterative version of the same algorithm so both can be uh, changed into another's form okay so now here also i write the algorithm to find out the power so if you want to find out the power of a to the b okay so what is the bth power of a so the uh, I, the recursive processor can be written as if b is greater than 0 then it will return a into power of a comma b minus 1 if b is equal to 0 then it will return 1 and if a is equal to 0 then it will return 0 so these three conditions are defined in first condition a recursive call of the same function is done so this type of uh, calling is called recursive calling and this type of algorithm is called recursive algorithm now here in uh, our subject the analysis of algorithm we generally consider the recursive processor or recursive algorithm uh, to solve uh, uh, to be analyzed or to be solved so for the recursive algorithm we generally defined a recurrence relation and the recur uh, so the recurrence relations are generally for the recursive algorithms so to solve this type of recurrence relation we have different methods and the most popular methods are uh, first is substitution method second is recursion tree method and the third one is masters method so we have three main method to solve the recurrence relation now for any algorithm you can form the recurrence relation in uh, a, so recurrence relation is the nothing but a relation of of uh, given input of size n so like uh, if any relation is like t of n the time complexity on uh, of n inputs in terms of n input can be 2 t n by 2 plus c that is constant so this type of relation is called recurrence relation so this recurrence relation says that the problem of size n can be solved 
if you solve the same problem by dividing it into two parts of the n by 2 size sub problems plus some constant amount of time so this type of recurrence relation can be solved using substitution method or recurrence tree method or masters method so we will see how we can solve these problem uh, recurrence relations using those important methods in the next lectures so thank you very much for listening the concept of algorithm and uh, the iterative and recursive processors thank you